So here's a quick little video on choosing designs for a block and um, setting the area. So you can do either one. You can set your area or you can set your design. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to put a grid on here just so I can kind of see how big I'm making my, my area. So if I click on the word area, I move my machine to one of the corners of the design and I click multi point and I can move it along the design either with four corners or I can do lots of points along my piecing. I am going to have my foot come up to my foot being at the edge of my piecing so that my needle is at a quarter of an inch away from the edge. That's kind of where I want my design to end. I do not want my design to touch the outside um, seams. Once you've done a few designs, you can kind of get the idea of um, if you want it to actually touch the seams or not. But in the beginning, you do not want it to. So once I've done my area, I turn off my grid, we can pick a design and I'm going to pick in the Pro Stitcher designs in the blocks. I If I'm doing a layer cake quilt or just squares and I want to put a design in each one as a test to see what designs I like, I'm going to put designs that go into the corners in some of the, like this one right here. And I'm going to um, see what it is, if it's going to fit. And then every other design, I'm going to have it be rounded. So once I have my design, I can go to the word modify. I'm going to go to the word skew. And because I did multiple points, I'm going to hit the word border skew and it fits right into all those edges. I'm going to hit undo. If I just did four design points, I can hit the word skew. But because I did lots of points, it, it makes it bad. Just hit the word no skew and go to border skew. See which one works better. And then go to Pro Stitcher. And I can set I want it to stitch, so this has to be dark green. The word quilt has to be dark green. Um, cut thread doesn't, it's not going to be on your screen unless you have an infinity. The word start, the word end, I want to have it to do um, um, little knots there, and I want it to pull up. So then I can go ahead and I move my machine to close to the center. So I move my machine up. So it's about where I want it to start. And I hit the word run. Um, sometimes it's just close. I can move it. It's going to come up with a screen that says, hey, are these all the things that you want? That are stitches per inch, etc. Or is all that right? And then I can hit continue. So it'll move to that spot. It'll do a stitch and pull up. You can read the words. Pull up to resume. And then hit resume. And then it will stitch. And then when you're done and it's finished stitching, you can go to the word file and clear all, and then we'll do a new area and a new, um, a new design. And that's all.